I believe I have found my new forever pencil. Hello everyone. I've spoken at uh, some tremendous length in the past about my love for the Dixon Ticonderoga Laddie pencil. Um, I'm a fan of all pencils, but in terms of the characteristics that I look for in a writing pencil, up until very recently, I would say the Ticonderoga Laddie has all the characteristics that I would want in a pencil. It is the in-between size, just a bit smaller than the beginner's pencil, this big kindergarten pencil, and just a little bit bigger than this standard Ticonderoga. It also is available without an eraser. You see that some thoughtless deviant in the past has sharpened this in the wrong orientation. Some sinister old fellow, probably a lefty, has uh, sharpened this in the wrong direction. But uh, So it comes without an eraser. Why is that a positive for me? Well, since I'm a hoarder, and I'm just admitting that, and I tend to stockpile pencils that I like, I find that pencils that come with erasers, uh, after a year or two, end up with not an eraser, but a petrified, useless nub at the end, which uh, coincidentally was my nickname in high school. Uh, but the erasers, the rubber, is not uh, designed for... Um, the long haul. It's not going to say it's not going to stay supple and usable forever. Very quickly, it will dry out, harden, and be useless. And it just strikes me as, uh, well, it's just wrong to have a useless appendage attached to a pencil. So, when you have a pencil that does not come with an eraser, you don't have to worry about that, and. I could set this aside for 100 years and every part of this pencil will still be completely functional. It will still do what it was designed to do in 100 years. And uh, so that's a positive. Perfect size. Uh, it has a nice graphite core. Not the softest in the world, but softer than a traditional number two. Doesn't require frequent sharpening because the lead is so thick. No eraser. Practically perfect in every way, like Mary Poppins. <clears throat> but, I think I am uh, switching things up here. And I think I have a new favorite forever pencil. And this has many of the same qualities as the Dixon Ticonderoga Laddie. It is slightly larger than a regular standard size number two pencil. Um, but not overly large. It does not come, it, well, it comes with or without an eraser, I believe. I've never seen one actually with the eraser, but I think that was an option. It is on the other sizes of Tri-Rex. Uh, this is made in the United States, which the Ticonderoga Laddie no longer is. This is made by Moon Products in Tennessee, Shelbyville, Tennessee. So readily available, produced locally, it's the right size, and it has a fantastic shape that you won't be able to see here very well. It's a triangular, a modified triangular, triangular shape, basically a triangle with the corners rounded off. So it is extremely comfortable to hold, and because it has no eraser to harden and become useless, every bit of this pencil will still be able to be used in the way it was intended 100, 200 years from now, I would guess. The other thing that makes 
actually both of these pencils, the Laddie and the Tri-Rex. This is the medium Tri-Rex. There's a larger and a smaller standard size pencil Tri-Rex, but this one falls in the perfect range for me. But what makes both of these pencils um, even more perfect for my purposes is that I have found a sharpener that is a perfect match for these pencils. I know you're excited. I'm excited about this. Uh, it's a sharpener I got a couple years ago. Ordered it through AliExpress or some such from China. It's a deli sharpener. Actually, one of the very first videos on my channel was reviewing this, silently reviewing this when I first purchased it soon after I first purchased it. Um, but what I failed to mention about both of these pencils, while the diameter of the shaft itself is not much bigger than a standard size pencil, just a little bit, just enough to make it comfortable, the graphite core in both of these is out of proportion larger than you would expect for a pencil this size. And I'll show you what I mean when I sharpen it. Um, even though each of these is slightly larger than standard diameter, they both will fit in this deli sharpener. And I'm gonna resharpen this. get the tri rack sharpened up and then we'll discuss. One thing I want to mention, this sharpener does have metal teeth that grab onto the pencil to draw it in. If that bothers you, and it does me a little bit, you can just put a little post-it note or something in that spot. Helps to protect the wood. Okay. I want to draw your attention to the point. I want to point out the point here that this sharpener makes with these pencils. Look at that. Have you seen a point like that before? Look at the length of graphite. That is a lot of graphite. So the combination of the long point from the sharpener, which also kind of makes a concave, just ever so slightly concave, which is my favorite. But the thickness of the graphite core means you have a long expanse of graphite when you sharpen it. When you compare that to a standard sharpener, it just doesn't compare. <clears throat> so, both of these pencils, very fine pencils, and paired with that sharpener makes a point. I could write all day with a point like that. It would get dull, but I wouldn't need to sharpen it. There would still be graphite available to use. No eraser to become useless and hardened. Perfect size, and this one has the perfect shape for comfortable writing. Made in America. Um, as far as pencils historically, the most perfect pencil ever made is the Eagle Black Warrior number one pencil. As far as pencils currently made for writing, for me, this might be it. This might be my forever pencil. Do you have a forever pencil? If you do, that's kind of weird, but I'd like to hear about it anyway. Comment below. Thanks for joining me today as I talk at tremendous length about pencils. For no discernible reason, I appreciate you watching. 
Hope to see you here again next time.